This is Dr. Joe Dispenza. At 23 years old, he became a chiropractor. That is somebody who works on the spine. He was riding his bike when a car came speeding around the bend and ran him over. He ended up breaking six vertebrae in his back. This is what a broken vertebrae looks like. The shattered fragments ended up going back towards his spine, doing more damage on the way. He went to four different professionals and they all said that he would either have to undergo an intense surgery where they put two stainless steel rods on both sides of his spine just to get a chance at walking again, or he would be paralyzed for the rest of his life. He did not like these options, so he decided to make his own. He knew the spine. He knew what needed to happen in his body for him to be healed. So he decided that he would heal his spine with his mind. Is that even possible? I have found that our thoughts have power. Our brains create almost 100 trillion specialized cells. We basically have supercomputers in our heads, and when we put in, affects what comes out. I'm gonna show you just how powerful your thoughts are and the physical impact they have. I will demonstrate this by sharing some examples of the power of a thought, answering a question, and showing you how to use this knowledge to your advantage. Dr. Joe Dispenza ended up staying with his two closest friends. He knew the spine and what went where, so every day he would visualize what needed to happen in his body for his spine to be healed. He spent four hours every day for three months reconstructing his spine in his mind. He said it was the hardest thing he had ever done. Nine and a half weeks after the accident, he got up and he walked. He had done it. He had actually healed his spine with his mind. As you can see, our thoughts have power. And this leads me to my question, can our thoughts have a physical effect on our bodies? This question has been asked by many professionals and the things they have found are astounding. I'm gonna share with you a study done by Harvard professor Ellen Langer. She took the cleaning staff of a hotel and divided them into two groups. The first group was told nothing and went back to work. For the second group, she went in depth about how their entire job was just exercise. Wiping down the windows was an arm workout. Vacuuming was cardio. She went on and on until they all believed that they were just exercising all day. When they went back to work, they got stronger, lost weight, and received all the other benefits associated with exercise. This happened because their brains believed that they were exercising. The first group who didn't believe that they were exercising didn't receive any of those benefits. This happens with everything we do. When our brain expects something to happen, it prepares our body for it. If you're watching a scary movie and the scary music starts to play, your mind expects you to be scared and sends signals down to your body to prepare. This might be the tightening of muscles or goosebumps along your skin, or even a shortness of breath. Another example of this was in World War II. Morphine was in short supply, and the surgeons were finding themselves having to do intense surgeries and amputations without any anesthesia. Instead, they injected the soldiers with a salt water shot. This convinced the soldiers that they had morphine and wouldn't feel any pain. And when the surgeons went in to do these intense procedures, these soldiers didn't feel any pain because their brains believed that they wouldn't. Our brain will support the thoughts and beliefs we have and will release chemicals and hormones and even change the way we process the things around us just to, make, just to support and make our beliefs true. If you think to yourself, I can't do this, or I'm not enough, your brain and body will respond to that, and they make what you believe your reality. The power of our thoughts can be used in both a positive way or a negative way, so be careful what you tell your mind and body to do. This has been so true for me. Two years ago, I didn't really believe in myself. I told myself I wasn't good enough, or that I wasn't smart, strong, confident, and I realized that I needed to change my thoughts. So every day, even though I didn't believe it, I would tell myself exactly what I wanted to be. I am confident, I am enough. And at any time throughout my day, I would start thinking, I can't do this. I would stop myself and change it to, I can do this. And eventually I started to believe the things I was telling myself. I've gained a deep love and confidence in myself. We all have this power to become who we want to be, all with a simple change in our thoughts. Through the stories I've shared with you and the science behind how our brains interact with our bodies, we can understand that our thoughts can have a positive or negative effect. So choose your thoughts wisely. Or in the words of Henry Ford, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Thank you.